Hey, John, what are you doing? Look at my calves. You, okay, those are your calves, huh? Yep. Do you have names for all of them? Yeah. What are they? We got Mike, Betsy, and Dot. Mike, Betsy, and Dot there in the back with the white face. Very good. How old are they, John? Uh, they're about two months old. And I Look at those two black calves chewing. You suppose they're chewing bubble gum? Hmm, do you think calves chew bubblegum? No, they're not. Johnny, what are they chewing? They're chewing their cud. Their cud. They're chewing their cud. <gasps> what in the world do you suppose their cud is? Did you know when a cow chews its cud, it's the way they're digesting their food. When they ate this grass earlier today and their grain, they ate it really fast. And now that they're resting, they chew, they burp some of it up, and they chew it, and then they swallow it. They burp some more up, they chew it, and they swallow it. That's the way their bodies digest their food. They have four compartments in their stomach, and that moves it through the different compartments in their stomach when they chew their cud. Do you and I have to do that when we eat to digest our food? No, we don't. We just chew it and we swallow it and that's all we have to do. But these kind of, uh, these animals are ruminants. And that's the way a ruminant has to digest their food, by chewing their cud. Goats are ruminants. Johnny, what other kind of animal is a ruminant? Sheep! A sheep is a ruminant too, yes. When you che see an animal chewing like Betsy there, you know that they are ruminants. They chew their cud to help them digest their food. Johnny, you got three calves here. Why are you, why do you have three calves? Starting a herd. Starting a herd. Do you know what a herd is? A group of cattle is called a herd. And Johnny is deci has decided he wants to start a herd, a group of cattle. How many would you like to, to have eventually, Johnny? No, oh, five to ten. Five to ten? Well, you've got three already, right? Four. Four? Four calves? Four heifers. Four heifers. What is a heifer? It's a female, young female cow. A young female cow that has never had a baby is a heifer. Okay, what's, what's a male cow, a boy cow that ha hasn't had a baby? A bull. <laughs> a bull, right. A bull is is a male or a daddy cow. All right. Actually, that's wrong. He's not really a cow if he's a boy. Oh, look how they like to suck on his fingers because he has fed them with a bottle. They're learning how now to drink out of a bucket. And very soon they won't be drinking milk at all. They'll just be eating grain and grass or hay. Guy, are these the only three that you've got for your cattle herd so far? Nope, we got two more. Two more? Can we go look at them? Sure. Before we do, I have a quiz. Okay, a group of cattle is called a herd, Johnny says. Johnny, can you tell me, and you guys see if you know the answer to, what a group of bees is called? What's a group of bees called? A swarm. A swarm. Did you guess right? Johnny got it. Okay, what's a group of fish called? You know? A group of fish. Okay, Johnny, what do you think? A school. A school of fish. That is correct. Johnny is 100% so far. How are you doing? Okay, what's a group of lions called? Give him a second, Johnny. Here's our test. Group of lions. Hmm, that's a harder one. Johnny, can you help him out? A pride. A pride! Very good. Okay, this is hard, and I don't know if I can do this. Do you know what a group of beavers is called? Johnny, a do you? family. Family? Let's see if that's one. No, that's not on here. No. Nope. No. Okay, let's save that one till last. I'm not sure either. Do you guys know what a group of beavers is called? How about a group of quail? I know what this one is. Do you know, Johnny? A group of quail is called a? Covey. A covey, that's right, isn't that cute? 
Okay, do you know what a group of wolves is called? A pack? Yep, a wolf pack. Right. How about a geese? How about geese? A group of geese. Do you know, boys and girls? A group of geese is called a... Johnny, do you know? A gaggle. A gaggle of geese. That's a good one. How about... This is a hard one. How about a group of monkeys? Do you know, Johnny? No. Is it a colony? <laughs> do you know, know, boys and girls? Mm, ask your mama. See if she knows what a group of monkeys is called. Let's come back to that one. I'm guessing it's a colony. How about a group of chickens? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what that is. Do you know? Group of chickens. It's called a flock. A flock of chickens. So we've got beavers left and monkeys. And our choices are colony or a mm, troop. So is a beaver oh. group a troop or a colony? Hey, baby. I bet. I would guess colony. Oh, guys. That is your homework. Okay? Write in comments what a group of beavers is called. Is it a colony or a troop? And then also a group of monkeys. Is that a colony or a troop? I need your help, guys. Be sure and comment and let me know what you think. And we're going to go see if we can find the rest of John's cattle herd. Here's these three, Betsy, Dot, and Mike. But I, you know what? I've had a long day, and Johnny tells me walking is overrated, so we're just going to snap our fingers and be there. Johnny, who you got there? Donna. Donna, and she's number four in your herd, right? Number two. Number two. You had her second, right? <laughs> yeah. You got her second. Her name is Donna. How old do you suppose she is? About a year. Now, did you feed Donna with a bottle too? Yep. And where are you getting all these uh, calves to feed with a bottle? How come they're not sucking from their mama? Oh, it just depends. Some are, some are twins and some, some's mom didn't make it, so. So then they have to have a human mama, and you're the human mama, or maybe the human papa, right? <laughs> She's very friendly too, isn't she? Yeah. You train your cattle well. Now, is she the last one in your herd? Not quite. Hey, can I ask you why there's those tags in her ears? To let me know who, which one they are. If you got a bunch of cows, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. And so what does it say on their tags? Well, that's a fly tag to keep flies off of them, and because says, in the summer it's I see it's when it gets hot, the flies like to bother them. Oh, I see. What about the other one? It's got the first letter of her name. Which is a what? What? Well, what's the first letter of the name? Donna. D D Donna. That's a D on her other tag. All right. Oh, Johnny, that's a big heifer. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Michelle. Michelle. Wow, isn't she precious? How old's Michelle? She's bigger than any of the other four. She's a year and a half. Year and a half old. So, John, is she getting old enough to have a baby yet? Just about. Great. Oh, that'll be so cool. How long does it take for a heifer to have a calf? I think about nine months. About nine months after you breed them with a bull. That is so cool. I can hardly wait to see Michelle's baby. You have the starts of a great cattle herd, John. Thank you for sharing them with us today. No problem. Hey, isn't she cool, guys? Cool indeed. Be sure and like and subscribe to catch more fun adventures at Hickory Creek Farms.